UMass Amherst has had a tremendous impact on material science and engineering. We are a new paradigm in materials research and education. We bring in students who already have strong backgrounds and training in science and engineering, and we train them so that they can address complex materials research problem in interdisciplinary teams. It's really unique in that, in that it, the, there are no real boundaries between departments for students to actually go. They can go wherever the research actually takes them. And UMass enables that. You know, the state of the art of organic chemistry has been merged with polymer chemistry, and that makes um, functional materials like we've never had before. Right? The polymers that we're making um, are uh, especially interesting and effective as interlayers uh, for solar cells. That's something that has connected to our uh, Energy Frontier Research Center, um, EFRC, and so this has been a really vibrant area. What I've been working on are uh, making new materials that can boost the efficiency of solar cell, uh, solar cells specifically for organic uh, photovoltaic technology. So when you turn the lights off and you shine ultraviolet light directly onto this solution, uh, you will actually get a very bright uh, fluorescence from the material. And again, it is electronically active material, so basically we are reducing uh, this material and we're changing the energy levels of this monomer and that's why you saw that color change. It's amazing how like when you see the PDA go from in the chloroform solution to the nanoparticles, it's like that bright like yellowish orange solution first, and then it goes into like this dark, dark deep red. We are doing is to take any polymer or macromolecule or, or molecules and assemble them into nanoscale. And assemble the nanoscale object into, into the mesoscale and this is dictated by the geometry of, of the object. Which means then that our method can be deployed for any material that you could actually you know, think of. And you can access structures that you cannot do with the current methods. This is the maximum that you get. This is the perimeter of the hemispherical detector. So you can focus more, but you will lose some of the higher order peaks that you see there. My group's mission is to uh, grow and transfer graphene and other two-dimensional materials uh, at large areas, which makes them relevant to applications, with the highest possible quality and cost-effectively. This is a prerequisite for bringing graphene and other two-dimensional materials into the realm of commercial applications and we're determined to do this. Not only we grow two-dimensional materials, but we also grow nanoribbons that have uh, atomically, uh, atomic thickness and lateral uh, width of about 10 nanometers. UMass Amherst is a great place to be trained in because here we are able to work in very high-tech lab spaces. Uh, as you can see behind me, uh, the equipment we have here, it's very frontier technology. So as a researcher, even though I'm an undergraduate, I'm able to work on these machines and learn the step-by-step -step processes of the chemical engineering, um, which is a wonderful thing. The funnest part of that is scaling, where you get everything you need out of the equation without so so the main focus of my research on computational material science is applying these techniques to look at two-dimensional materials and to discover new two-dimensional materials that have not yet been synthesized and to provide guidance to the community as to how these might be done. It's, it's impossible for one single person to cover this entire spectrum of knowledge, which is why it is important for us to work in interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary teams where different people, different PIs bring expertise together um, such that uh, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. That requires that you interact with people from many other disciplines, speak the language, and then form teams that will eventually achieve the goal. It's very beneficial for students to work in such an environment because they gain the breadth that they need to succeed in their careers where flexibility will be very important. I think that the material science and engineering program in some sense provides students a meaningful way of looking at their futures and doing things that actually have tangible societal impact. And we have a host of um, researchers and expertise over here that provides them with the tools to do this. Amherst is a great place for research and learning. It's the quintessential New England Collins town and a wonderful place to call home.
We are uh, in the brink of making uh, important new discoveries and developments. We are strengthening our core strengths and moving to other areas. And we are going to do quite a bit of that in, next, in the next years to come.